Select Audience Live Uganda welcomes you once again and uh, kindly follow me elsewhere online, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitter as Select Audience Live Uganda. Uh, why Select Audience Live Uganda? Because I am from Uganda, I'm a Ugandan. And it is another reason as to why I mostly talk Luganda or communicate in Luganda. So kindly forgive me if you fail to understand some content, especially when communicated in Luganda. But I'll do my best to make sure that I give some information in English. But definitely the biggest percentage will be Luganda. Later on, we shall be improving or giving, producing some videos in English uh, for the audience that is not getting Luganda clearly. Mbani liza, mwena banda banga, mwena kwa ngele Uganda, 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 Uganda, mwena kwa ngele I have people watching me and listening to me, getting my information and education regarding music as an art from Northern Uganda, from Eastern Uganda, people are watching me and they are from Rira, people are watching me from Teso, people are watching me from Mbale, people are watching me from Ginger. So thank you very much. Select Williams Live Uganda has been in this business of doing commentary and analysis, analysis on music as an art and entertainment in general. Um, now, 15 years, close to 16 years, I'm a radio personality, um, the station manager at Radio Sapiencia, 94.4 FM Radio Sapiencia, the source of wisdom, streams of good music, of course and sports um, i'm as well head of programs there and a presenter i normally present a show about music as an art every morning of saturday that is 8 to 11 a.m and we have an hour full for the countdown ug top 20 where we count 20 songs of ugandan music artists as another way of contributing much to the growth of um, the industry of music in uganda Recently, Selector Williams Live Uganda began a journey of giving you facts about how good is it is to always do your work, your creations, practicing art, practicing music as an art at an early age. And I've, I gave you examples of people who made it um, at a very young age or a tender age and made it, but later on they failed how to, they failed to handle stardom. Abandava Unaku video sembieyo twayo get de kuba artists ngabali ba mani ni bachkuba ngabachari nene chivali medida twayo get Dutchman from Jamaica twayo get GD Boucher Irabu or Nonya video in Okweze again to Jakulava anti the rise and fall of, of Jude Boucher Oliver Anguma Bob Mali and that's man from Jamaica. Like I was telling you, examples were that's man from Jamaica who died in 1993. Um, we gave an example of Robert Nestor Mali, that is uh, Bob Mali from Jamaica, talked about the lady from St. Vincent Caribbean, Jude Boucher, and another one was Old Vanguma from Gabon. They wrote to Ze Okwogera Kubantu Wabalala. Ngabali Bamani. South Africa, music with South Africa. Oputa fana kwa music wumu Uganda, kujia kumi Uganda, kumi nankaga muetano, kaga mukaga, waba elisha mawamala, waba teka utali and such, e, ya zula batu nakadongo kamu, e, okubale ya mbana kodala, wantunga matia kakumirizi, kongero banyo za mchisawe, matia luima, kongero banyo za mchisawe, misera sega mwenge, okuno nyira dala wantu wabali masanganzila, nga bakuba music yoyo, country music that is kadongo kamu, in South Africa, we have a tandika of music in music wa South Africa. We have a lot of music in South Africa. We have a lot of music in South Africa. We music as an art. They kind of introduced a talent such that is Sugar Shaka talent such. And through the Sugar Shaka talent such is where they got an, uh, an opportunity to spot people like Brenda Fassi. Brenda Fassi, you mukuba yimbi fenabe tumani mo Africa. Nti yafa yes, ne inga Brenda Fassi tosola dina inga the fact you cannot fail to acknowledge that she had one of the best or greatest and wonderful African voices, female voices. Hasik having a bit of going low, mid range and high notes or octaves and ranges 
Brenda Fassi that was her. Brenda Fassi enyimba ze yayimba ngaba muzude actually Brenda Fassi obuta okufana nako na artists abasinga nti bwe baba kuleta obaba obobogenda kujja kusawa otera kubanga we ya bibyo era artists ne mu Uganda wantu bayina nga yeta kuli deka abantu nga Bobby Wine abantu nga Bebe Cool Jose Dr Chameleon Juliana Kanyomoz uh, Eddie Kenzo bona bona abo bora ba baze be yaboka na jana abirawo tujja bogera ko later on but uh, this episode is so much into on to the people aba failings oku handling a stardom wadingata erinya bali funa bachali bato nombe songeyo gwe tugenda kogera ko nda kulwa lero yemchara ayali ku streets ze Johannesburg nga tembe ya omziki era nzalwa yelanga mu Cape Town Brenda Fassi nokuzola yomu kuba artists boto sobola ku busa busa nti Brenda Fassi ina talent talent ya jina ge mazima ne Brenda Fassi yazali bangana kuzo mwezi 3 November 10 na kaga mwe ena nokuzola ku myaka 10 na mukaga abazungu bali bakiriza anda the sugar shaka talent sat nti ali talent je bali betaga Brenda Fassi ne bamuleta mu Gala Records Later on, he had signed under the EMI and ETC. Why I'm here today is not to give you a, a detailed profile about Brenda first, but I'll give you time when she came in into formal or serious music business and how she failed to handle herself sailing through stardom. Brenda first, she had a name, but I'm calling her name. And people who wrote songs for her, people like late Stephen Kekana never got disappointed because songs like Agashem Love that is me dodo according to Ugandan audience they always say pick those lines of me dodo dodo do, 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 songs like party time that is chukuba makufunfugu still according to the rules uh, translations or interpretations by Ugandan audience songs like Vulindela she had several songs i can't be with you i can't uh, stop loving you so that the lord is my shepherd do, 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 do. so my point is brenda fasi ya chikuba brenda fasi ya yimba brenda fasi bicheta gana chifuna however muje chenda nga mweta na yafuna mu kuzoganyizibwa she had issues with the security operatives uh, of south africa especially the english people when it came to performances when you get a chance of watching some documentaries of her and one of them is i'm not i'm not a bad girl on show max she says that sometimes she went for performances and promoters could not pay her after performances i had mbongani his her son saying that the son of brenda first was witnessed her mother being stoned live on stage by security operatives so she had some challenges or she had some some issues between her and the security operatives of south africa so it was so chimo sonyu wano mugama ti na yiya sango kuzoga nyizibwoko kubanga south africa yali at peak of fighting appetite atinga ye wasinze na yoku tshumukira ngo muyimbi uliya yatandi ko kuyimba leba formalizing na afuka official mu mkumi mukumi da chinana mugumu yatuke kisiranga masanyala zege manji nyo brenda fasa chenja wolo wadenga yafa ebintu bimulemeredde oja chimanya anti yatuke kisiranga ewabo je bamuzalamu langa langa cape town bamwenyumiriza because te yakiriza muntu kubera njala actually na bantu ababeranga na yinga ads be that is according to the documentary i watched on show max brenda fasi ngatabera na muntu ali bubi Brenda Fassi ngatakiriza kubana muntu wasemba regarding welfare regarding yeah, basic needs ibibuna yabikola ngo muntu obulungi na ye ibirala nebigana definitely and it is the reason as to why we are here to see how people failed how stars failed to handle stardom how people failed to uh, stars failed to play around human uh, communications public relations and etc kuyigireko fa banda ba wanonzenga select audience live Uganda uh, Brenda Fassi China Jukirwanti 
nga ayimbi nyimba zilizo nazo 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 tumuwana zimido do chikuba mafunfu gupati time ya tuke kisera nga ne security operatives tipa cha asura muso gula umanyulu sipo yimba no, no, when you become famous you're popular and celebrated sometimes you become irresistible and that's why people especially artists feel they are untouchable and they are, that's where they go wrong uh, Brenda Fassi of course nga kubendongo bigana bitya stress je aitamu kuba fuzi ba matwale stress stress je aitamu mu ba security operatives nebi vurugi ya kubanga ebidi back to back as lo kufuna kasente wadenga neba promoter rumu twamura banga mudoki tumura ba documentary zezenja ulo nga agobara gana na be misinde Brenda Fassi za amlet lokutani ko kunywa excessively okunywa buli chika cha mwenge okunywa kufuweta buli chika cha biragala Brenda Fassi okusobola okuberawo Brenda Fassi okufana na koniba artists abalabonna abali msoheto musoheto abali mu Johannesburg Brenda Fassi ngo muntu yanywa ebira gala gala na yinga tebya mulemesa kukola hits ndala Brenda Fassi okufana na kabantu banji nyo abaina ebizibu ebyenja wo Brenda Fassi na ye love relationships za msumbuwa ndinemuru kumenda china na muenda nga mazo kufumbili ganwa no mwami we mbambo atela mkumenda chenda mungu mubaya ukana urenso nga chumami ya lita chasura kubira mungu fumbo na brenda fasi okusinzi la kubira gala gala vya yanywa okusinzi la kumuenge kwe ya yanywa wadingate ya lista actually brenda fasi dokumentari zezenja ulo zimula ganga agamba niba nangi usopuro kubira na brenda fasi nga kwe bawe okuja kongo yola gamba ni brenda fasi ye bawe Nivyo hali bigambo ya Brenda Fassi. Brenda Fassi yali asa aganyo. Actually ya gamba nganyi ya bama ulide. Nti chizibu nyo bate geza nzi bawa ngo ulu berira. Kubanga nange sima nya dirwe na divorce nga gwendi na ye. Okufuno umulala. Na gamba nti mbulu sanga wabumbuza. Uinu kumbuza bupi anti kakati ya niguo ina. Nibi lalabi nji nyo. Brenda Fassi ya fading later on. Natani koku kore mtu binji nyo. Sente ze vanga koze. Uluwe mbele ya liegena maso msouth Africa. Ya zizanga yon, mwa society, especially mulanga kept town njiba mzala. Brenda Fassi ya bintuwe mungu ya tuwala nganga kwa ya gala. Ngane baba guze moto kwa soro jiga vila kustreet. Brenda Fassi ya kore ya bintuwe mungu nyo. Echiru nji chete ya kupa vantu. Okusinza kulisachi kwenye nina at least. Kujia kongo mlala soro kumbu okumpa. Otherwise information. Brenda Fassi was a philanthropist. Was a person who wanted, wished good for the society. Brenda Fassi, away from consuming or abusing drugs and alcohol was a giver na ye ibyo nango bitadde wa bali obulamu bwa muleko mu kufuga ye ina mutabani wenga agenda akula akula sobro genda mu youtube no take amu Brenda Fassan Hassan osobro kulaba omwana yali omutonga Brenda Fassan muyigirizo kunywe bilagalagala Brenda Fassi yatuke kisero nafuka echero lerwa nafukira dala echisekererwa Ngeri nya weriri actually bobo tandi ko kuvako na dalana ebira galalagala oba okunywa omwenge tiba kulimba nti eri nya livawo eri nya liberawo era otandi ko kusigalanga hit so sobola nokubanga ozikuba na yate eri nya lyo nyinyi nyinyi teri kubulira deal with gender era to manya de brand we wow brenda fast ya exercise ya experiencing that brenda fast ya tandi ko kubanti byonna byakola abikola kululwe ekibicho tukanga atatu alira mune mtabani we Mbongani is son to Brenda Fassi the late, but unfortunately, what ham, the mom used to do then is what Mbongani is doing right now. He's abusing alcohol, abusing drugs, and at a certain point, some one, two, three years back, or even up to now, allegations come out indicating or showing that Mbongan traffics drugs. Maybe it is because of the poor parenting by the late mom. Maybe it was because of the drug abuse that triggered the kind of parenthood by Brenda Fassi. Maybe it was because of the frustration, uh, frustration from the security operatives of the South African uh, English people. 
maybe it was because of the orientation or foundation laid by the sugar shark talent search maybe it was because of the appetite that had hit her head and through again frustrations she had given in and resorted to drugs brenda fussy failed she's among female artists that have had failed relationships of love she got married in 1989 to mbambo and divorced him in 1991 later on brenda first got a chance of involving herself in a romance with several men who dumped her who he had dumping them actually ya gamba tewali msajja ya mugoba oya domuchawa orokuba lero tetugenda into profile of brenda fasi we are looking at artists of failings brenda fasi ebilaga lagala bya musinza amanyi natandiko kutunda ebintu okusobola kufuna ebilaga lagala natandiko kwa abusing the media natandiko kwa abusing the fellow artists natandiko kwa abusing the management until when she resorted to only drug abusing and alcohol abusing and the challenge and make matters worse is that she did all whatever she did in presence of her son that is Mbongani on 9th May 2004 she died it is so unfortunate that Brenda Fuss who died at an age of at the age of 39 was still able to go on with the business of recording and performing na ye brenda first year ya ya limelelwa ngafena betu limelelwa olwali lobino byendete bya brenda first binzo kuba tebikutukira ko buterevu na ale binzo kuba bisobola kuyamba okubirawo nchimanyi ba artists abato ba karo kasita ba nina rose ba fie ba barita fik famika john black mufuno mukiso kula ba videos zino obwa sita bunyuma na yo was sta stand sometimes if you fail to handle yourself well if you fail to work out life well you may find issues of losing the brand or losing life to death gena kuzomeza makumi ya 2 mukag epo biliena brenda fasi yali mugo watenk na collapsing okubira unconscious no collapsing was the day to day life or day meal for Brenda Fassi nibu yadange nguru ngira akosebira galagala nga bwaba byagadde bamutwala mu Sunning Hill hospital era na afuna cardiac arrest abali bamufuna nyizibwa ko abali bafa kubulamu ba Brenda Fassi okumulumirirwa muri no mugenzi lolahera Nelson Mandela president of South Africa obwe ali komkulembeza gwangere South Africa bageza ko chonna but it was too late this time era bagamba anti asima yali amusinzi za manyi ebisere bisinga abantu bagamba anti omuntu bwaba batani ko kunonya ejuwa de chiri mo moderate average era ne bantu bagamba anti asima yamuvira ko buzu kumyaka asatu mwenda ngena kuzo mwezi mwenda may biliena yafa oruvanyo kwate yasola kudangulu ngatasawa ku regaining consciousness nafa era results ze zala ganti yali mulwadde wa kauka yali na kauka kalwaza mu Kenya brenda fasi mirundi mingi yayogerwanga ko nga ba artists abali te bafa ku Kenya era nga bwatu na mu camera gamba kati silimu bwatalu ma Brenda Fassi agenda ku Rumani Brenda Fassi yakabya abantu banji nyama ziga na yatinga ya sanyu sa abantu banji nyo kuita mu nyimba Brenda Fassi bosala ku musomako ebya fa yali yali bya kabinji ya kubendonga wano mu Africa ya kuba hit wano mu Africa ya kubendonga bwero wa Africa yali na hit za gende bwero wa Africa but holding and handling stardom chagana ba artists abasinga abakozi abasinga bana bitone bankola ku radio tv ba plaza mauli ba comedians ba drama actors and actresses abayimbi na balala omwako gwa satu botoka ku flow e ya satu 
we find issues there because it is when money comes it is when everyone is ready to love you to fall in love with you both men and women so sometimes it is when it is the reason as to why you find so and so died at 39 so and so died at 38 so and so died at 35 ndi a wazibu nyo ndi mtu wamalo struggle ingeri yona yona nakola sente za koze ye kanga ngo kuzisearch sanya ayagala zisasanya za mobu dogo atinga na buli mtu ye nawo aba singo kwetagira so that is Brenda Fassi for you yefa eranga aina kauka karwaza mkenenya wadenga athima ya suka esira na mova poweringa and to make matters worse over yeah, was yan bada suka kubirao na ye due to the fact that Brenda Fassi yali akoze bila galagala no mwenge munji yali tasobola kuwangala kusuka ko Now, that is Brenda Fass for you. Uh, na ye ichilala chemanyi kwa artists why artists also fail to handle or to work out life when they are stars, when they are enjoying popularity, being famous and being celebrated and fail to walk that lane of legendaries. Most artists are stars, are famous, are popular, some even some fail to be celebrated but mostly they fail to leave a legacy of a legendary just because the way they handle their li- lives during stardom during those charts where they have songs hit songs au weba singo kulemererwa so rules give up foundation foundation another person i'm bringing is one of the prominent performers the guy who had one of the greatest voices and you africa will remain to who stay celebrating is a gentleman calling him a gentleman is that he tried his level best but sometime women if we get a chance of having women that can help us handle life properly we should always take time to listen to the ladies if this gentleman man took time to listen to one of his wives or the two of his wives he would be still living right now because one of the wives tried so much to refuse him from driving at night stop him from driving at night cruising at night but himself was like it is only at night when there is no traffic congestion that i can drive and almost reach the limit of this car the guy used to drive those fast most speeding cars and this time he never survived in south africa definitely we know there are issues of ins- of insecurity gwenjo gira kono taina a lot of rat or rats in cupboard but somehow he failed to handle some issues bofuka artist when you are an artist uh, at a level of philip you need to allow people to handle you to handle your security to handle your movements to handle the way you handle yourself um second person i'm talking about is philip lakedube philip lakedube is one of the celebrated definitely reggae artists especially contemporary reggae artists from africa philip lakedube fused a lot of several reggae styles or genres ranging from lovers rock ska rock steady and came up with what you have had whenever you listen to songs of him or whenever you listen to his songs unfortunately his background isn't good if you have Brenda Fassi if you have five by him binga chaka chaka if you have five by him by Africa era bibya five by yokusanga ku feel like a dube nti entandika ya fair art e contributing ga chinene ku tya wetugendo ku isanga tuli mu art because to another that foundation e tuyamba okubera 
the artists we are supposed to be the artists that we ought to be na ye uh Philip like to be a gezako yes already na kuzo mwezi satu august rukumenda nka gamwena ngaba tero tuguli a story through the songs like a dube bamzalam transfer on pomaranga province mu emelo mama we ngamazo kufuna olubuto atitata na abula so mama we namtwale wajaji awe mu emelo akulire yo mama ngaya kola bwa housemate bwatani ko kola bwa housemate ono mwana na berani jaji awe philip like a dube stayed with his grandmother for some time and later on uh, before he could even acquire formal education or get education formally he went and began some work domestic work for the english people especially where his grandmother used to do again domestic work even when he went into formal education kind of he used to come and do the pruning uh, of flowers for the english people do the gardening uh, for the english people to make matters worse philip lagetu be in one of the documentary documentaries says that whenever these guys the whites wanted to test which is the heaviest dog they would do the competition on to his body they could trigger dogs to go on to his body and the one that had the heaviest or the strongest approach or in terms of biting him or knocking him down these guys would celebrate and they were like hey mine is the best kati ne webuzanti e your trauma psychological torture emotional torture itandi kokubanga e contributing to how feel like they will conduct himself as a music artist ali mukukola bimuli byabazungu akola ne milimu mu garden zao ejo kusalira bimuli ne bilala ne miti jabwe nibo abava ku somero atabazungu bano gobagezese za ka manyi gembwa zimutomera nakwa ezaga dene zimuluma kati obuchayo obo no busungo wa contributing akine nnyo to what feel like to be died being <laughs> is that true english he died frustrated somehow disappointed somehow because that story used to come out every now and then and even when you watch one of some documentaries the story used to come back every now and then she, he would talk about it over and over again so it means a your psychological torture you are continuing to engage in like do baby when you you listen to her daughter, his daughters mkuli uh, bongi and the son uh, tike dube or daughter zanel you can listen to stories of what their father used to tell them so kati ebintu ebyo be contributing kachina nyoko ba star philip how did he feel like to be fair handling marriage handling love relationships guno muziki ya gukuba philip like to be ya kuba albums south africa nesho ke mugana nini tuke kisera nge ino mukiza atena akola chi ngati ina cha kola ya kuba endongo ni batuke kisera nge ino mukiza rwampaka but failing to handle marriage and love relationships better than to have greater issues philip like to be yomo kuba yimbi mu africa bagezeza kenyo obaba ageza ko ku handling no respecting a management he used to perform with one people the one people band and he tried as much as possible but he would so much live move at night there were rumors of because it was close to the 2020 africa world cup uh, da, 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 yeah, that it is the reason as to why he was assassinated because he was a threat that he would perform and get a lot of money 
to me according to the research ba thugs bana ba bibe moto kapo mu south africa story be chata ambulira konti be ba muta kisoboko kubanga kitufu nga be ba muta nei mama wambonga ni agamba ntu msaje tuwa mugano kutambula chilonga tambula chilonga gamba yogula mwe bwa kula buli matigana ne bobera wolu akatonda yenga agamba roba ya surviving mbwa za bazungu yali asolo ku surviving but that night when he had come to visit mbo, mama mbongi at night and chose to take the kids to their uncles this lady was like you should not move at night especially with the kids and was like i cannot i can travel if i survived the dogs of whites i can again survive the night philip like to be ya kubye ndongo fenent mutegera ngenda kuzo mwezi 18 october 2 musamvu ba mukuba masas Asi bili munana, bili musanvu, ba mkupa masasi. Lakini like dubebo msoma kwa when it comes to music as an art, performing and recording, songwriting, playing instruments was was one of the best but failing at acknowledging the fact that a recording and songwriter, performing artist cannot know all things. Even colleagues of the band one people used to tell him caution him regarding his security especially moving at night with those big cars expensive cars there is a suburb in Johannesburg where car robbers those people who need expensive cars like the cars always wait to take cars to rob cars to rob people having money their money it is the very street that Philip Lagedube could not spend a night especially when he's in South Africa without driving on Lagedube this time they are sulao abana bo yamalo batwala ewa anko wabwe yali avuga Christa 300c absurdity nema mukuba era abasajja abasatu abazulibwa mu 10 bibiri mu mwenda ngina kuzomeza mu kwenda zatu mu march even sango sango gwata ambula tambula but it again failed lenga ne the guy the lead boko the keyboardist on several occasions on tv and radio he's always like if dube could listen to us listen to our caution listen to our guidance regarding his security especially driving at night if he had listened we would still have him philip like dubi ya fanga aina ya kana mwisa it means ya ya cha solo kuberao another thing that would trigger his death was over speeding bo yafuna nge moto kezo nga jagwa nga agenda mu rwanda and especially where the, uh, Uh, Nelson Mandela is buried in Lustenburg and you know, in Eastern Cape there is a, a long stretch where he could go and test his cars so people were like if he's not assassinated that night he will die in an accident so when people were like heard about the news of him being murdered at night were like those of the closest people were like no wonder and people waited to hear news of his death in an accident so even to bibiri ya mleta na good enough is that at least he lived for some time for us to get some production by him and we are still up to now celebrating his music his performances and etc but it is a caution once again to we the young artists who are watching select williams live uganda that even when you're having those big songs you as well have to keep calm keep cool and make sure that you're supposed to live and not to harm heart your loved ones your fans abantu abali close kugwe kubago bofo batulumwa obo bulambo bukulemera naye abantu abamwa bafuna okuyita kugwe kubaga an artist afuka employment for many people will be able to earn a, a daily bread because of you as an artist and brand so to inoko egeza mwe chofil pala kedube yafange na kuzomwe 18 october 2 musanvu 
these days his daughter Mbongi and Nkole Dube, actually especially Nkole Dube, they are trying their level best to keep the legacy of their father, which is which is kind of more heavier for them as kids. And Tike Dube is as well. Uh, there is Zanel and many many kids of Philip like Dube. Uh, the last artist for today, as we go. Later on, I will be bringing in Ugandan artists. I think today those are enough because if I go into other artists, they may have many, 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 many things to. I'm seeing here Moses Radio. I'm seeing Harmony Basude. There is Paul Cafero. Let me talk about. Okay, let me also. Abantu banji nyobe na kompaili nze wano. There is Tupac Shakur, Richie Valens, Notorious B.I.G., Karen Carpenter. Okay, this will be our last one. There is Karen Ann Carpenter, a member of the Carpenters. Gwe andaba kuze music zone, nkatucha atunulila wa artists abafa kumiaka nga mito. Na yinga, they are fail failure to handle, to be conscious about their lives, their brands. Yichaba letilo kufiru wabula mbwe wotyo. Bobo ulea uli zaku liimba liwa ita Top of the World, yorwa imbi wa Judy Bauch, yorwa diwa mjudi Bocha. Original version ya kule kwa wana Karen and Richard, backup painters. You can go and Google about it or go in, on YouTube and look, search for it, the original version. She used to play drums, jazz drums, and she used to play guitar. She was a good composer, so she was a good artist. She was born on 2nd March 1950. How did she fail life or handling or working out life? Richard Nge ya liya muto uwe ono. Ya tuke chisela na mu labula kubacha kubami. Bulibuo imba with your music artist, recording and performing artist. Many men, especially when you're a female, a lot of men will come for your life offering love or claiming to offer love, but tebachiri tante baba wali serious, most of them. Boba musajja bachala banji bajja kujja ni tibali serious about you as a person but they just na, need to enjoy fantasy or kunyumirwe the fact that they are in love with the celebrity Richard yagamba yogera nyo no muwalono ono mwala ya lista okutane ku miyaka 10 na nyumirwe obulamu kakati akamuttakali chi Karen ichimufira mu buzibu cha falling in love with a real estate guy atayali yako le mivuyo vuyo minji mubyettaka mubya mayumba nibyo busubuzi Richard yagamba nagamba Karen na ave ku musajjo ya jatu sombere ebizibu omusajja yali achimyo bugagga yemaliza achimyo bulambwa Karen mukumenda china na mwena nkono muwala ina emyaka asatu mwe bilijo Mama, there is a good story about them, how they came up with their name carpenters. Actually, Richard was the guy who used to try out carpentry at their home. And playing guitar was Karen. Karen used to play his guitar boat for her by, her dad, by, her, by their dad. So, yeah, Richard, David K. Vendongo. street saw. Uh, Karen, ah, Richard, not go picking some interests, some interests, because Karen used to tell him, "Come and escort me. Come, let's go and watch me perform." So later on, Richard as well picked interest. Na ye omwarono oruo kule meriro kuhandinga. Actually, Richard in one of the documentaries is like, "Ono ngatanda fa mruwe dashi na na muesatu, ngene kuzome zinya February." Yali yafanda. Ngagamanti awa saja batu kekisela ngu mwara tasaura bafuga. Hati inga tagambu wako. They would show za, za ibu wanga. 
because Richard alone could not perform songs like Top of the World without Karen. So her missing meant that Carpenters could not perform. We have seen many artists in Uganda missing shows. And to make, to make matters, matters worse, after missing shows, when people try to talk about it, if especially the promoters or organizers, even or event organizers, artists beat up those people who gave them their money to perform. An artist will fold knuckles to hit event organizers because they claimed their money. But artists are saying, I am claiming my money. I am claiming my Let us, as we try to, as we are listening and watching, so the Claudius giving you this small information about how artists failed to handle their life and brands. Let us learn something. Today we have talked about Philip Lakedube a little bit. He, not, he did not entirely fail, but handling marriage and ETC relationships and listening to people who used to caution him regarding the overspeeding and moving at night may be triggered his death. Brenda Fassi, of course, drug abuse, alcohol abuse, and impunity may be triggered his her death. Karen, a member of the Carpenters, actually the board group collapsed after her death in 1983. So the brand died and the life went as well. So let us stay cautioned. I am Slater Williams, Live Uganda. Goodbye.